Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I want to try out a couple of items that I just picked up from Sephora. They aren't necessarily new items, but they're new to me and I want to test them out today. So the first one <laughs> is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Okay, so it says on the box here that this is a medium coverage foundation with a luminous natural finish. So, medium coverage. Mm, I tested it out when I was in Sephora. I was in there for a good hour just blending out foundation on my face trying to get the right shade because these shades are a little tricky. I mean, they have some really good shades, but for me personally, I didn't find my perfect match. So the one that I grabbed is 490W, and I think this might be a good match for me. It might be a little bit orange, but I think this is probably gonna be the closest to my skin tone that's gonna work. So I'm gonna try this out wear it for most of the day so I will come back at the end of this video let you know how it wore and let you see how it looks also I picked up this Becca Evermatte poreless primer poreless priming perfecter I should say because I've been dying to try this for the longest and I've just been too cheap to buy it just spending like what $40 on a primer Okay, y'all know I use my little $6 e.l.f. primer and I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> but this primer gets so many rave reviews about how it smooths out your skin and, you know, fills in your pores and all that stuff. And when I tested it out in Sephora, it felt really nice. So I'm going to be testing out, for the most part, these two items today. I do have like a new mascara and stuff like that, but the main focus for me is going to be for the foundation. So I don't want this video to be too, too long. I want to go ahead and get started. I'm going to moisturize this morning with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, Gel Moisturizer. I'm going to throw on some brows. And for brows today, I'm gonna to use my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all that. We'll come back and then we will jump into the foundation because I am doing my face first today. So today's brows are slightly surprised, <laughs> but it's all good. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so we're gonna start out with this Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. Very long name for a primer. And just, I don't even know how much to use until I get used to it, but I'm just going to probably place it mainly in my T-zone or where I have large pores. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a white, thick, firm substance. And it doesn't smell like anything. I guess I'll put it all over my face just to kind of see how I like it. I would assume because of how it comes out of the tube in this little small um, amount that I shouldn't have to use too much. <laughs> okay, so I definitely can feel and see the primer on my face. I'm sure you can see it. It does look like it's kind of blurring or dulling my skin, so that's nice. It doesn't feel sticky or anything. It just feels kind of like like it dried down, kind of like a powder or something. Okay, so for the foundation, I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics foundation brush and I'm gonna spray it a little bit with some of my Olay Mist just to dampen it some. Now this foundation does have a pump, so I'm just going to place some of this directly on my face just to see what's happening. 
since this is a medium coverage, I'm not going to be too shy with it. Okay, so let's see how that does. That's a couple of pumps. And it's supposed to be a luminous finish. Okay, that's not a bad match, actually. So I have 490W, that's not a bad match for me. I definitely can tell that this primer is mattifying my face because it didn't look this matte in Sephora when I swatched it. It's definitely drying on my face matte. And I'm not mad at it, it's very lightweight. I really can't, I can't feel it at all. I believe this foundation was like 40 bucks. $39 so it's not too expensive but it's not like you know your $10 drugstore foundation either you know it is ABH so I'm really curious to see how this is gonna last throughout the day y'all I like this foundation the coverage, the finish. I think the combination of this foundation with this primer is just like, it's giving me life today, okay? I like it. Now, if you do like just a light or medium coverage, you know, you definitely don't need to use as much as I'm using. I am a full coverage type of chick, so I'm not afraid to go in <laughs> with my foundation and just, you know really get that coverage so yeah if you just like a nice light or need a nice light coverage or medium coverage you definitely don't need to use as much as I am and I'm not doing like full complete pumps I'm just kind of like barely pumping it on my finger so I really couldn't tell you how much I used, but y'all saw what I slapped on my face. <laughs> A good amount. I'm not gonna worry too much about under my eyes because I am gonna put on some concealer, but I am liking this foundation. Very nice. Okay, so for concealer today, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And I'm just going to do just a little bit to help with my dark circles. As you can see, this concealer is very close to my skin tone. It's not very bright. What color is this? For This is 420. Yeah, this is a shade 420. Okay, so for under my eyes, I'm going to go in with my Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I have the shade Golden Bronze. So I'm just going to use that under my eyes and maybe to brighten a little bit on some areas of my face since I'm not really highlighting today. I don't want to use too much. I don't want to be cakey today. And sometimes if I use too much of this powder, it can make my under eyes look a little bit cakey. But I do like the way that it blurs out my skin. Very nice. Okay, and to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. And this one is in the color Spiced Rum. It took me a while to get used to this powder. First, I didn't like it. Now I love it. With a lot of products, you have to figure out what's the best way for you to use it for yourself. And that's the best way <laughs> that it works for me is with a brush just to set the rest of my face. Okay, now for bronzer, I wanna go into my minted collab um, duo with Ashley Blaine Featherson. And this one is season one. So I'm gonna use the bronzer side today.
Okay, so nice subtle bronze there. Okay, so for blush today, I wanna try out one of these little like compact set things that I got. I was at the mall shopping. I was in Macy's browsing around and of course, you know they have all these little holiday kits and whatnot. This is from Tarte. I had no business buying this, y'all, because I don't even know if any of these <laughs> will show up on my skin. But they were so cute, so I bought them anyway. Okay, so it comes in this set of three different trios. And what it is, it was $35. And it says, Nine Ways to Shine, Cheap Wardrobe. So it's basically just some different blushes. So this is the gold one, and they're really cute because they have a little mirror inside, and you get kind of like a, a trio twist out type situation. So this is the gold one. As you can see, this is like mad light, way too light for me, but I could definitely use the highlighter. These two blushes here, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure, but it's very, very light. I might end up giving this to my girl, Lily, because <laughs> it is just like really light. So that's the gold one. This one is like a rose gold color. Same thing, it has a cute little mirror inside. Yeah, so this one's just a little bit more kind of like medium tone. Does have a highlight and two blushes. This is more of like a brown tone blush a pretty rosy pinky tone blush and then a highlighter so very very pretty it's just in this cute little trio and then the last one is kind of like in this dark gray shiny packaging and this is what this one looks like so i know i can definitely use the blushes in here i'll probably use I actually just want to use the blush because I want to use one of my Milani highlighters. So I think for blush today, I'm going to go into this one here and see how this one looks on me. Oh, so yeah, that's pretty. It's not anything too pigmented, of course, but... I can definitely see it. It's very pretty. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I can see that. Very, very pretty. Very nice, subtle, very pretty. So it's like this little trio from Tarte. Okay, and for highlight today, I want to use my Milani highlighter. And this one is in 03 Sun Glow. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight with this. Okay guys, so since today's focus is really the foundation and the primer, I'm just gonna do something really quick, simple with my eyes so my eyes aren't <laughs> completely plain. And I think I'm gonna jump into my Be Perfect Carnival palette. I know this is not the palette for a simple look, but we're gonna do something real quick and simple today. Um, I think I'm gonna go into this shade right here, Persuasion, it's like a really pretty kind of purpley magenta shade. I'm just gonna go into that and just kind of buff it out on my eyelid. I'm not even gonna prep my lid or nothing. I mean, I've already put concealer and powder all over my lid, so. I have enough stuff on my lid right now. <laughs> y'all I'm just barely tapping into this color I like this brush this is a morphe brush it is this is a morphe e27 brush it's just a big fluffy blending brush and for my lid I want to try out one of these kind of it's supposed to be like a color shifting multi-chrome loose pigment that I got from AliExpress if I remember I will try and link the put the link in the description box, but it's just kind of like this really pretty color shifting shadow. So I'm gonna try one of these out on my lid today. I'm gonna spray my brush. Well, this is what it 
looks like. I don't know if there's any color shifting going on because I can't see. But <laughs> it is very pretty. And the little bit of fallout that I got, I was able to just dust it away. No problem. I don't have glitter or anything all over my cheek. So I think it's very pretty. Very pretty. So it's supposed to shift a little bit. I don't know if you can see a shift in any color, but I think it's pretty. I like it. Very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to throw on a wing and then we can move on to this mascara that I want to try out. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and throw on some setting spray for this face before I try out this LA Girl mascara. So to set my face today, I'm going to be using my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day. This is the collab that they did with Rich Lux. <laughs> this one is in the color Dream Sickle. Every time I buy something, somebody getting caught up in some drama. You know what? That's their problem. I already spent my coin, so I'm using it. Okay, so for mascara today, I want to try out this LA Girl Volumatic Mascara Extreme. It says, instantly volumizes and lengthens your lashes. I think I saw an ad for this or somebody using it on Instagram and I was like, Ugh, I need to try that. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's just a nice, big, thick, round <laughs> container. <laughs> Let me show you this wand. Okay. So this is what the wand looks like. It has an interesting shape to it. A little bit larger towards the bottom, smaller at the tip. Let's check it out. Okay, so it's pretty decent. I mean, I don't see anything miraculous or nothing, but it's pretty decent. It's not bad. Y'all let me know in the comments down below what you think the comparison is to the mascara side and the non-mascara side. I think it definitely lengthens a little bit and does add volume, but it can get a little bit clumpy. I'm noticing as I build it up that it is getting a little bit clumpy on the tips. Hopefully you can see it. Got my bottom lashes looking like little spider legs, okay. But it's not bad. It is not bad at all. Okay, for my lips, I think I'm going to do a Shayla ColourPop combination, BFF4 lip liner and slow down lipstick. Y'all know I gotta put a gloss on, so I'm going to use my e.l.f. And this is actually one of their limp, lip plumping glosses. What color is this? Mocha Twist. <laughs> Perfect gloss to put on top of this nude lip. Okay, you guys, so this is the look today for me trying out this. ABH foundation um as of right now I'm loving it I really am I was kind of worried about the 490W shade that I chose but honey if it matches my neck I'm doing all right <laughs> so I'm feeling good about it and I love this Becca primer oh my gosh I can already tell because when I put primers on I can feel you know how they are under my foundation and this is like keeping it tight and keeping it right so i'm gonna go ahead just head out right now and i'll come back in a few hours and let you guys see what's going on with the foundation what my face was happening and then we'll go ahead and end this video so i'll see y'all in a bit hi you guys okay i'm back 
So it has only been about six hours, but I feel like that's long enough for me. I put this on, did my face around 10 o'clock, and now it's about four. So yeah, about six hours is like long enough for me. Plus I got stuff to do. Um, and I don't know if I'll be able to check back in. So yeah, first of all, I am extremely impressed with the primer. That Becca primer, I know is making a huge difference in how my foundation is sitting and the longevity of it because normally after an hour or so, I am always shiny in my T-zone. It, it doesn't matter what I wear, what I put on, what I use, I am always shiny in my T-zone. And my forehead is not even shiny, you guys. And we're talking six hours. My forehead is not even shiny. My chin is not shiny. Usually, you can see your reflection in my chin. That is how shiny it normally is. Now, I can see a little bit of my oils coming through around my nose area. You can see it's a little bit of shininess there. But other than that, <laughs> y'all i'm very impressed with the becca primer period because i know that that's what it is now for this foundation y'all look at it it's just sitting honey it's sitting it ain't moving it ain't bothering nobody it ain't disrespecting nobody it is chilling okay i mean this foundation is minding its own business okay it it is it's just i love it it is great the finish is great the color is great for six hours for me to still look like this i'm impressed okay so anyways i just want to do this quick little check in for today's foundation the abh luminous or luminescent whatever it is <laughs> I like it. Now I'm just gonna do a quick dab around my nose since it is a little shiny just to see what's happening. Okay, so I just did a little dab, you know, around my nose just to soak up a little bit of them oils and honey, I'm impressed. I am thoroughly impressed. So. Anyways, quick little check in, you guys. I like the foundation. Six hour wear, it's not full, 24 hours, eight hours, 10 hours, whatever, but six hours is long enough for me to know whether or not I like something. And um, yeah, I like it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Check out this foundation, try it out and see how I like it. Becca Primer, yes ma'am. Uh, this mascara is doing pretty good too. It's staying in place so anyways that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me to check out these products and i will see you on my next video